Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Right Can Do It. Um, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about Duino coin, the only coin that can be mined with computers, Raspberry Pis, Arduinos, and ESP boards. Um, I have recently got into uh, cryptocurrency, Bitcoining, mining, and I came across this um, because I'm a big Raspberry Pi fan, and I'm like, oh my god, you can actually like mine with a Raspberry Pi and ESP like through YouTube boards? Like that's crazy. That's incredible. Um, so I went and set up the project and got mined right away on uh, two or three Raspberry Pis. It's super easy to set up. Um, it's beginner friendly. It's cost effective because Raspberry Pis, you know, barely suck up any electricity whatsoever. Um, so it's just a great way to get into cryptocurrency and learn about cryptocurrency. And it's a really cool and uh, fun project. Um, so I definitely recommend uh, you guys, you know, check it out. Um, so... One of the first things we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and get registered uh, for Duino coin. Now you do have some options. Um, if you have um, Raspberry Pi full um, operating system installed, Raspbian, you can actually use um, the GUI uh, wallet, um, which still has to be you know started up from the command line, um, but it would open up into a, a GUI um, and then allow you to register. Um, the other options you can do it through the command line. Um, and then you can also do it through the web wallet. So in today's video, we're going to walk you through doing it through the web wallet. I found that the web wallet's a little easier to do. Um, and then also for me, I am using Raspbian Lite on my Raspberry Pi. Um, so therefore, I do not have a, uh, any type of GUI at all um, available on the um, Raspberry Pi. Um, and today I am going to be using um, doing this demonstration on a Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, it's a little bit lower powered uh, board. But it's still one that works um, for this project, and I just um, wanted to be able to, you know, make sure I can use up all my Raspberry Pis and get them mining for me. So, yeah. So first thing I want to do is want to go to wallet.duinocoin.com forward slash register. So let's go ahead and put in that information real quick. Username, password. Put that in there. Put our email address and then we'll click on register. We should be all set. All right, email address and register. Successfully register a new account. Go back to log in. So you can go ahead and ignore this error. All you have to do is just get rid of the forward slash there and just go directly right to wallet.duinocoin.com and this will bring you to the login screen. Let's go ahead and get ourselves logged in here on the web browser. You can see here you can um, get your balance, last transactions, current duckle price, and your miners. Um, will be uh, listed here as well. So let's go ahead and get that connected to the Raspberry Pi and let's um, start getting some information in here. So you can go back to the Getting Started Guide and there's a section for the Raspberry Pi board. It does tell you how to do it, but it's not in great detail. It's kind of small detail. So I went ahead and created a Google Doc that I will share with you in the video description down below that has step-by-step of every command I'm going to be doing in order to get this installed on a Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and dig in. First thing you want to do is log into your Raspberry Pi. So default username is Pi. Password is Raspberry. So what you want to do first is make sure you have the latest and greatest packages installed on your Raspberry Pi. So that's a super easy command. So, and that is just sudo apt update and go ahead and push enter. It's going to go ahead and make sure that it knows about the latest packages that are available. Okay, next up is we're going to install Python 3 and git onto our Raspberry Pi. So in order to do that, we're going to do sudo apt install python3. Python 3 hyphen pip 
and git. We need to install those three applications. So go ahead and do that and then push enter. It's going to ask you if it's okay to continue with this operation. Go ahead and click Y for yes and push enter. There we go, we got that finally installed. So next up we're going to clone the Duino coin repo. So in order to that, we're going to do git clone, and then the repo um, address for Duino coin, which I uh, have in the video description below, so you guys can just copy and paste. Go ahead and push enter. Go ahead and clone that. All right, got that, got that all copied from Git. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to enter the Duino coin directory. And that was a directory was created um, when we copied um, that from Git. So that's just going to be change directory, which is CD space Duino coin for the directory name. Go ahead and push enter. Now we need to install some additional um, Python packages. So um, the first thing we need to do to install the packages that are required is we're going to type in python3 space hyphen m space pip space install hyphen r space requirements dot text. What this is going to do is this is going to read a text file that is in um, with Duino coin that comes with the package that basically will tell it what to install. So go ahead and put that in there and push enter. Uh, looks like we went ahead and installed all those. Now, when I first did this install, I realized that there was two um, Python packages missing. One of them being XX hash, and the other one being the WebSocket client. So in order to do those two, we got to do it a little bit differently. We got to do Python 3 hyphen M space pip space install space XX hash. So let's go ahead and get that installed. All right, that's been installed. Next up is going to install the WebSocket client. And that's going to be same thing again, Python 3, space hyphen M, space pip, space install, space WebSocket client. Go ahead and push enter. Now, since we went ahead and got all of our dependencies all set, we're pretty much ready to go ahead and run the crypto Miner, but before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at all the items inside this directory. So let's do ls to list the directory. So you can see here we have an AVR miner, CLI underscore wallet pi, PC miner, and a wallet pi. So um, if you had Raspbian um, OS with the full GUI, you could go ahead and type wallet.py and go ahead and pull up your wallet. And that would be the same thing as if you were logged into the web-based looking at your wallet. But you need to have a GUI interface in order to pull that up. And then the other one is you can do a command line wallet, which basically allow you then to not only register for Duino coin through the command line, but it'll also allow you to log in and see your current um, value and your miners as well. So in order to run the official miner, what you need to do is we need to um put in um the pc miner um dot pi so in order to get that script running we have to do python3 space pc underscore miner dot py and then go ahead and put enter now this is a, a very important part you want to make sure that you type in your username um correctly and not mess this up because you want it to match so Go ahead and put in our username real quick. So oh, there's our username, burning rubber. Now it's going to ask us what mining algorithm you want to use. You can use either one or two. I'm going to go ahead and go with one. That's what's recommended. 
Now, this is the mining intensity. How hard should it be running on your Raspberry Pi? Since I'm using a Raspberry Pi Zero, I'm only going to have it run at 75% on the intensity. Now, it's asking me for my mining thread. So, this Raspberry Pi Zero, I have one thread. Is that the one? And then um, you want to make sure you set in your mining difficulty for Raspberry Pi. So, we have a one because we're low efficiency, Raspberry Pi. And then we're going to call this um, Pi Zero for our unique identifier so that we know that this is coming from the Raspberry Pi Zero. Oh, actually, wait, they don't want the name there. They want to, they want to know if they want to add a name or not. So we're going to hit yes. There we go. Now we can do. We're just going to do without the hyphen and just call it pi zero. Now, this is totally optional. If you want to send a developer um, a donation level, so basically this will not affect your earnings, but it just donates some of your um, profits back to the developer, which I think is always a, a good thing to do. So we're going to go ahead and set that to one. And it's going to go ahead and start launching the miner. at 75% efficiency. Because like I said, this is being done on the Raspberry Pi Zero. So you can see here on the Raspberry Pi, I'm not getting um, the best, you know, speed in the world, but it is still mining coin, which is just awesome that it's just working out of the box. Um, that's just super awesome. Now, if we log back into the web wallet while this is running, we should hopefully be able to do that and be able to see our current information it's gonna take a minute here for it to show up as I just started this is a brand new account that I just created so it's gonna take some time for any of this information to um, start showing up in here but you can see though my duckle balance is going up as the miner is running so I am mining coin. There we go. Our Pi Zero finally showed up. Shows exactly um, the name of it. So it's my Pi Zero, as you can see, and it has our information. So there you go. It's really that easy. It's really not too hard to install. Um, there are some additional ways, like I said, to register. You don't have to go through the web wallet. You can do it all through command line um, using the command line wallet, or you can also um, do it through regular um, wallet through a GUI if you have the full Raspberry Pi operating system installed. So that's if you have the, the, um, the full operating system um, installed, you can have the GUI interface. So that's it straightforward i'm gonna go ahead and put all the the code that i went ahead and put into the command line into a google doc and share it with you guys you guys have access to it and be able to do this on your own and get it set up um on the next video i'm going to be doing this on um a few esp32 devices as well as some arduino devices to see if we can get this stuff you know going on arduino as well so look forward to those videos coming up and let me know if you guys have any comments or questions, uh, leave them in the comments below and I will uh, get into it with you guys and go from there. And uh, thank you again for, for watching. And remember, if Rai can do it, so can you.